Hiya. You just caught me on my way home, and this is in no way a video for tutorial for uh, BGN Gaming to show them how to set up um, a garage airlock. This is totally natural, and is completely not a setup. It is absolutely a setup. So, we've arrived at our garage, and I've told it to cycle the pressure inside. Uh, this will take a minute because uh, it's a big room in there. It gets down to uh, um, one uh, kilopascal fairly quickly, and uh, to make it go down even faster, you can put down, put in more active vents. You see all that active vents in there going, and uh, I'm uh, just wasting time right now until the door opens. Uh, but one vent for fr per frame is uh, probably the quickest. It'll get the pressure down within, you know, 10 to 20 seconds instead of like. Uh, 40 to 50 seconds that it is now and uh, uh, vamp 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 dum 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 wasting time until door opens I could fast forward but I actually want to show the uh, real time for uh, that many events there we go and now we'll drive in We will park our bad self, which are with our uh, glitchy rover. We will turn the rover off because for some reason you can't turn it off in the seat. And we will again close the door. You might notice that that door closed first. We'll keep that in mind for a second. We will then fill this up with atmosphere. And blowing is a lot easier than sucking. Um, I won't make a joke for that. And of course, our rover weighs like three pounds, because of course, nothing is properly weighted in this game. There we go. And just in time for the uh, thing to fill up completely. Now that rover is starting to uh, glitch and bob, so I'm going to get rid of it before it crashes the game. Now once we're in here, let's say we're seeing somebody off. Bye-bye! We can cycle from in here too. And that will activate all of the uh, thingamabobbers, the uh, active vents, and bring down the uh, pressure in that room. This part I won't talk over because who cares. And once again we notice that one of the doors opens before the other ones. Let's cycle through our standard airlock. We're back inside of our garage and we want to go uh, back into the rest of the base. One door closes before the other ones. And the reason for that is that the things that are controlling uh, these consoles is the standard airlock control. It doesn't say standard airlock control, it just says airlock control. It's the one that does not say advanced on it. And you set everything up like a normal airlock, except um, you choose one exterior hangar door, and this one is named uh, exterior prime, a large hangar door prime. Then you take a logic reader and you uh, read that. You read logic prime, or uh, large hanger prime, variable open. Then you put in a batch writer. In is the um, the logic reader. Out type, so that's the batch type that you're going to put it out, is the large hanger doors. And the variable is open. So when this door opens, this thing will read it. This thing will read, the, uh, the uh, reader will read from that. Then the batch writer will grab the state from the logic reader and open all the rest of the doors. It would be nice if, it, if we could just have an all-in-one solution here, but the batch writer needs to read from either... Um, it needs to read from another logic chip. Uh, and that's how you solve the issue of uh, more than one door being used. And that works for anything. You can open up doors, close doors, turn on and off uh, vents, uh, the vents are a little harder because um, the vent, you'll need to grab two states out of it, the on-off state, 
and the um, outward inward state. But the standard, the non-advanced airlock has a feature uh, that that um, makes it so we, we don't need uh, a logic reader. You can assign a ton of more vents to it. All of these active vents just assume that they're sitting inside the airlock. And that's it. And everything else is set up um, identically. So you have a gas sensor. Placement of the gas sensor is important. If it's in the same cell as um, one of these um, active vents, the cells in the center won't be fully drained and you will lose progressively more atmosphere the more times you cycle in and out of this uh, airlock. Um, and you require the two doors, so one glass door. It could be a blast door as well. That may make a little more sense because you're in hard atmosphere all the time, but it really doesn't matter. I'll open this door up again. Um, and that's it. That's that's actually an actual quick tutorial, and not a really long tutorial. Oh, you uh, because my base is uh, this um, four by three room here. I had to put this uh, vent, this uh, tank in. You don't strictly need the tank if your base is large enough. Uh, it will be able to uh, take all of the atmosphere from, the, from this big room and just expel it into the base, and that'll be fine. But because this is a very small room, it'll blow out the doors. This is not needed. Um, and then these are just connected to the to the airlock. So um, that's 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 all you need. You just this is just your airlock. That's it. Use the standard thing. You can also write your own airlock code, which is uh, probably much better. You can still use consoles. Um, oh, there's another way that you can do this um, and actually use the advanced uh, airlock control um, is you just hide a door somewhere. So you can hide a door underneath the ground or something and then connect that up to it and then read the, um, the state from that door and print it onto the rest of them. That's a little janky. You got to hide a door somewhere. That's fine. You still only use one um, uh, one vent, however, it, it won't let you use more. The advanced controller, you can select more vents, but it won't actually let you use those vents. So the standard controller is still best. And if you're as OCD as I am, and you don't like the the doors opening non-symmetrically, again, the um, hiding a door is a good way to do that. Now if you were to write your own program um, with an ID10 chip, I wouldn't suggest using um, uh, logic chips because there's a tutorial on that and it is a huge array of chips that you would need. It's a massive number of chips. But um, if you write your own code with a, a, a IC10, you can still use consoles because there is a door control, a mode control, um, and those can be used to read states of um, things. You can read the states of the of, of the. Uh, you can read the state of those of of those console things. And again, you might have to hide a door or or something to uh, make it more accessible. I wish they could let. I wish they would let you program the console and just use like um, GIF maps or something to. Um, uh, to change what it looks like, but you can't do that. ID10 or IC10 is the best, um, uh, the best solution. But this works very simply. The longest thing um, it took me to build this base was just the gas, and I'm babbling. So bye.